Hundreds of Afghans, mostly women, took to the streets of Kabul on Tuesday, chanting slogans against Pakistan and ISI. As the protests intensified, the Taliban opened fire on the rally. In one video shared on Twitter, an Afghan woman says, No one has the right to invade Panjshir, neither Pakistan nor Taliban. The Taliban on Monday claimed they have completed the capture of Panjshir Valley, where the resistance forces had been fighting a literally do-or-die battle against the Taliban. On Saturday, the chief of Pakistan's intelligence agency, ISI, which has a significant influence on the Taliban, made a surprise visit to Kabul. And this is said to be the immediate provocation for the civilians to come out on the streets. Pakistan has been a strong supporter of the Taliban over the 20 years of the US war on Afghanistan. Meanwhile, there are reports that the Taliban are planning to gun down protesters who are not ready to back off. A report said that the Taliban have killed a young Afghan boy who was part of an anti-Pakistan protest in Afghanistan's Parwan province on Tuesday. According to reports, the family of the boy has refused to conduct his last rites and protested with his body on the road. The Taliban also stopped journalists from covering anti-Pakistan protests in Afghanistan's Kabul and took away their cameras on Tuesday, added reports. Tolo News said that its camera person, Wahid Ahmadi, was among those arrested by the Taliban during the protest rally. The Taliban released the Tolo News camera person after detaining him for about three hours. The Taliban gave Wahid Ahmadi his camera back along with its pictures, Tolo News said. Tolo News said Latfullah Najafisada had appealed to the Taliban for the release of Wahid Ahmadi. Our colleague Wahid Ahmadi, who has covered many front lines over the years, is arrested by the Taliban in Kabul for filming Afghan women's protest. I call on the Taliban to release our colleague as soon as possible, Najafisada had said in a tweet. News Desk, Global. Music